Hello everyone, my name is Leslie and you are watching my surprise vlog about something that um, I have started to invest in and uh, uh, everybody's talking about sustainability, uh, environmental friendly and uh, I am one of those who is advocating for that for proper recycling, uh, being environmentally friendly, uh, minimizing our carbon footprint. And without further ado, I would like to uh, make a video blog about uh, my uh, recent investment. I'm shifting to sustainable and renewable energy, which is yeah, ta -ta -ta, solar panel. Okay. Um, I am not very uh, well uh, informed about solar panel but I've been wanting to do this for the longest time and right now I've made the jump into investing into solar panel but being uh, not as uh, informed about it I wanted to make it as simple as I can and I've tried this this uh, 4 watt uh, Coleman solar power power which uh, which works as a uh, solar energy that would charge your battery I found out that anything that is less than 10 watts you don't need a uh, uh, charge uh, controller uh, anything that's over 10 watts of solar or of 12 volt uh, uh, solar energy you need you'll need to have a solar or a control charger it it uh, it costs about $30 a Canadian tire and that's where I've, be, I've been getting my solar energy solar panel so this is the one that I have is 4 watt solar 12 volt so uh, one 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 thing that I've realized uh, with the solar energy anytime you talk about harnessing solar energy from solar panels such as this one or this one okay it translates into 12 volts of uh, uh, 12 volts of energy uh, I am not yet very uh, familiar with the with the terminology of how it works, but watching from YouTube videos, I have um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit informed about it. So anytime it's less than 10 watts, you don't need a solar charger. But those that are using uh, over 10 watts of uh, solar panel, uh, they will need to have a solar uh, a control charger because it would hurt the battery uh, if, if it. it regulates it it um, calibrates it so that it doesn't hurt the battery no matter if it's uh, whether it's an acid or lithium or sign those things I've I've, um, um, uh, I've come across okay so did this package came with with all this stuff the OBD connector which goes to the trunk of your vehicle under the dashboard usually under under the, the dashboard where you where the brakes the gas and uh, uh, the trunk uh, is usually settled in now my intention for this is not to uh, uh, charge my battery but probably down the road I will I just have a generator the mini generator that I have ordered and I'm waiting for that and that's uh, that is the main reason why I've got I invested on a solar panel. <coughs> so it came with the OBD connector, which is this one. Okay, OBD connector. One. The battery clamps. Okay, red for positive, black for negative. So how it works is it, you will connect. Uh, end to end the solar panel to the battery clamp and this will go to your actual battery that's one way that you can uh, trickle charge it okay anything that's under 10 watts is a trickle charge that means it's uh, continue it can you it's safe to continuously charge it 
because it's a low voltage it doesn't it won't overcharge your battery it won't hurt it um, but uh, usually the best uh, way to to do it is is um, to to charge your battery not more than um, one or two days especially if it's a low uh, amp then it takes longer it doesn't it's not gonna hurt not like a, a 10 watt uh, solar panel or more than 20 it comes with 10, 20 50 or 40 and even 100 watts which is common for the RV uh, grid RV uh, solar panel panel grid for those that live in the RV or use it for for that it it would charge the battery fast but you can't charge it uh, you can't exp you can't leave it uh, charged for a long time not like when it's a, a lower voltage then it's it's just a trickle charge so that means it charges it charges your battery slowly and it won't hurt it okay especially if you don't uh, leave it for too long maximum two to three days average okay and also the 12 volt DC plug uh, connector so again you connect this attach the solar panel somewhere in your dashboard in your car it's pretty long I just haven't uncoiled it yet and then this can go directly to your 12 volt socket in in your vehicle and then it will it will trickle charge it right now at the campsite it is uh, we're under the shade but it would still be charging it uh, the thing with um, solar panel is you need to have a battery to store it but under four if it's as long as it's under four watts okay again if it's under 10 watts the charge controller is not really required or it's not really necessary because you can plug it directly to your device and it won't it, it it's a uh, slope it's a slower process what I learned about uh, starting with uh, solar energy so harnessing the solar energy through solar panels is solar energy through solar solar panel would always translate to 12 volts okay so you can never get enough of these accessories okay either the uh, socket or the connectors either way it will work with your solar panel okay some panels come with the, these accessories and some don't one uh, one tip is if you were to choose between the solar panel as is that is higher voltage versus the solar panel that is lower volt lower watt lower watt but it comes with the accessories i will choose those with the accessories because this alone if you buy it they cost about between uh, five to ten dollars each on its own on its own so buying it as a as a, a set it will it will say what's included in the in the package that you're buying I would prefer I would suggest that you take the low the lower wattage with the accessories because you can never get enough plus if you decide to add more panels more so more solar panels they can be interconnected and that way uh, you'd still get a be better better value if you have the connectors if you have the accessories because um you know things happen like especially i have i have cats they might chew on it then instead of um replacing them or buying them separately it's good to have spare uh accessories because you're, you're gonna need it anyway especially if you have portable panels like this where you don't mount it permanently then you're always going to need uh, accessories to go with it whether you want to use it at home uh, to charge your devices your smaller devices etc etc or whether you want to uh, charge your devices on the go while in the car or uh, on the go like for those people who live in the rv or who, who are um, 
venturing into van life this will always come handy okay i also got this um eliminator they were regularly 19.99 at canadian tire but i got it for 15 dollars for some reason it's, i think it's on clearance and they're moving the stock so lucky me i've got this which will i will show you later okay so again being new to sustainable energy you could never get uh, you can never lose in investing into 12 volt accessories because you'll always be needing them solar energy would always translate to 12 volts of power okay so whether it's a socket or the plug when you talk solar you talk 12 volts if you if you like this video please like and subscribe my name is miss leslie and i'm new to um, sustainable energy and transitioning to it please comment and give me some tips or advice uh, correct me if i'm wrong and i'll see you soon thank you